Hi, I'm Katie, I'm 21 years old and approximately two months ago I was diagnosed with allergic rhinitis. I started to feel the symptoms of sneezing when I went on a picnic but I didn't bring a picnic blanket and I just lay directly on the grass and that's when all hell broke loose. I started to become sneezier and sneezier every single day. You know, at first I thought it was just a one-off sneeze, but it continued. So I spoke to family, friends and colleagues to try and get some advice on how to move forward. I've just been sneezing and sniffling so much and I just don't know what to do. You could take some antihistamines. Mm, nah, I don't really think that's the answer. But they couldn't help me, so I had to consult Google. Sneezing is often a symptom of death. Great, so now, as well as sneezing all the time, I have to now plan a funeral? <sighs> it became really hard. It began to affect my daily routine. So I decided it was time to see a doctor. Oh, you've got hay fever. Sorry, what? And the sneezing, that's a reaction. But I barely ever go outside. Why the one time that I go outside do I get a life-threatening illness? It's not life-threatening. Oh, I'm sorry, do you live with allergic rhinitis? Well, allergic rhinitis affects 10 to 30% of the world's population. Great, so now I'm a statistic. So the doctor was able to prescribe me with some life-changing medication. It's over-the-counter antihistamine. Even though this medication could help me, I still live with the daily struggle of having allergic rhinitis. Every day I have to avoid touching grass. Can it be used as an excuse to not go outside? Of course it can. Do I abuse that power? Of course I do. But am I a bad person? No, because I'm constantly struggling to even make it through the day. Every change of the season, I suffer. And all I have with me is the beautiful excuse of being allergic to grass. It's amazing! 